Hello everyone and welcome back to the AMS tutorial. Uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, we have uh, we have learned that uh, this is the interface and how we can put the inbuilt condition. In this uh, tutorial, we will learn that how we can add uh, the first layer in the AMS. Or for example, if we want to uh, simulate a standard device. Uh, uh, for the sake of an example so at the first contact we have front contact that is glass uh, which may be FTO or ITO the next layer is the ETL which is uh, electron transporting layer and in this case this is the compact titania it may be a zinc oxide it may be uh, tin oxide and uh, etc so we need to define the properties of this uh, of this layer uh, let's say uh, if we click on this window so at the first window we will see that add layer so this is actually the titania so i need to write that and next uh, if we go uh, this is the thickness uh, in this case it is in micrometer so i i draw a table for these parameters you can you can get these parameters of every material in the in the existing uh, literatures uh, for example the thickness in this case I took in 30 nanometers so in the micrometer it will be 0 0.03 micrometers uh, if we go on the right side so there are electrical properties so we need to uh, define uh, these properties as well so in the electrical properties uh, there is permittivity so it is almost for the titania 100 and uh, the energy band gap is around about uh, 3.2 electron volt and uh, this is the affinity electron affinity which is uh, for the titanium this is 4 electron volt and the ne next is uh, the concentration or the uh, concentration of the charges at the conduction band which is a uh, roundabout for the titanium 10 to the power uh 21 okay so even you can write it like e to the power 21 it's okay no problem and for the for the valence band the concentration of charges that is around about 2 to the uh, 2 e power 20 and the uh, electron mobility uh, that is 50-50 uh, for example this is 0 0.0 0 0.006 for the electrons and 0 0.006 for the holes and second we have uh, the donor concentration and uh, or you can say the donor density and acceptor uh, density so we know that if it is the n type material so it will have uh, the donor density or concentration that is uh, for the uh, for the titanium it is 5 e to the power 19 and the acceptor concentration will be zero approximately because it is uh, the n type material in this case next we will go to the defect states that uh, that we need to define what type of defects uh, uh, it may be so here the best one is um, the gaussian states uh, the gaussian defect states or levels can define the best in the best way so we will put uh, the gaussian state which is uh, acceptor like and donor like so let's say we need to add the acceptor like so for the uh, acceptor like uh, gaussian states this is the density uh, of the defects here is e to the power 17 and the energy level is uh, around about uh, 
the peak energy level it is about 1.1 electron volt and then we go to the uh, standard uh, let's say standard deviation okay let's say first capture cross section of the for the for the electrons and holes so for the electrons let's say it is 10 to the power or e to the power negative uh, 19 and for the hole it's around about 10 to the power or e to the power negative 18 then we need to define uh, the band tails as well so the band tails for the except like density or defect density uh, it will be around about 0. Point, as a default 0 0.01 for the conduction and for the valence band as well then we have a ground state uh, band tail density of states which is uh, 10 to the power uh, 14 and we have capture cross section for electrons and holes in uh, except like as well as in the donor like except like is uh, denoted by SGN and the donor like is represented by SGP in the in the software so for the N we need to replace this by 15 and this by 17 and similarly it will be reversed for the P uh, so this will be 17 and this will be 15 then we need to define the band gap as well so the band gap is around about 0 point uh, the mid band gap as we know that there are many energy levels between the conduction band and valence band so we need to define that as well so uh, for the mid gap the energy or mid gap density states that is 10 to the power 12 uh, for both except like and donor like and this is the capture cross section for the uh, mid gap which is defined as a Gaussian state so it will be around about for SGN it is uh, 17 and 15 and for the SGP uh, that is uh, 15 to a negative 15 to negative 17 so we uh, up to now we have defined only the uh, acceptor like acceptor like uh, density the deviation or the standard deviation is uh, between these energy levels that is around about 0 0.1 or 1.1 you can say so uh, this can be uh, this is the where the standard deviation. Oh, sorry, it may be here. You can put oh here. Okay, the standard deviation is like 0 0.1 electron volt. So this you we have only defined the accepted like. Similarly, we can add uh, the a donor like over here okay now we can we can go through this can be changed as a donor like and similarly we can, we will define each parameter for uh, donor like as well then uh, if we see uh, the optical parameters so the optical parameters we don't need to put in this case because uh, the active layer or photo active layer is proscribed in this case so only the incoming light <coughs> will be utilized by the proscribed layer so for the titanium we don't need to put that so this is uh, a little bit about the first layer you can play around and you can get the the first layer <coughs> as well so then we need to uh, save it 
for example <coughs> i need to save so the extension of the file should be dot dv let's say we have uh, for example we say that this is the first layer and we need to put the extension that is dot dv and we can save where you want let's say we want to save over here in the devices so let's save it <clears throat> so this is all about the first layer then we will go on the ne next layers as well 